Shizu puppies are known for their cuteness and loyalty, but they can also be quite mischievous, especially when it comes to biting. While this behavior is often a normal part of puppy development, it can become more severe and lead to aggressive behavior if left unchecked. So why do Shih Tzus bite so much? Understanding the causes behind this behavior and learning how to prevent it is key to ensuring that your beloved pup grows up happy and healthy. In this video, we'll discuss why Shih Tzus bite, provide tips on how to train them not to bite, and explain when professional help may be necessary with persistent biting issues. Why do Shih Tzu bite so much? Shih Tzus are naturally curious and tend to explore the world with their mouths, which can lead to biting. If a Shih Tzu is teething, it may increase its biting behavior as they seek relief from sore gums. Anxiety or fear can also cause a Shih Tzu to bite when they perceive danger, this could direct at people or other animals. Poor socialization can lead to biting, which is an undesirable behavior. Often, a Shih Tzu that has not had the opportunity to learn how to interact with other animals or people appropriately will resort to biting as a way of defending itself or expressing fear. Biting may also stem from boredom if your pup doesn't receive enough mental stimulation throughout the day, resulting in destructive behavior due to pent-up energy and frustration over the lack of activity options available in its environment. An owner lacking assertive leadership can encourage a pup's misbehavior if it does not understand what behavior is acceptable within its family unit. Are Shih Tzus usually aggressive? No, Shih Tzus are not usually aggressive by nature. However, they can become aggressive if they don't get the proper care and training. They need to be socialized early to know how to interact with other people and animals safely, which can help prevent accidents due to fear or anxiety-based aggression. With consistent training and lots of love, a Shih Tzu will typically remain friendly and loving towards its human family and any other animal it may encounter. Still, owners should always oversee their pets in unfamiliar situations and take preventive steps whenever necessary. If a problem persists, professional help from a qualified dog behaviorist is recommended before the issue escalates into something more serious. Do Shih Tzus bite their owners? It is uncommon for Shih Tzus to bite their owners, but it can occur if the dog perceives a threat or danger from its owner. The best way to prevent this type of biting is to give your pup proper socialization and training. Make sure it knows how to interact with you and other people safely. Provide plenty of chew toys to redirect biting behavior, and give the regular pup exercise, playtime, and mental stimulation throughout the day so that it does not become bored or frustrated. Provide consistent leadership for your dog to understand which behaviors are acceptable within its family unit. Shizu Teething Shizu teething is a normal process that all puppies go through as they transition from puppyhood to adulthood. Teething occurs when baby teeth fall out, and adult teeth start to grow in their place. During this period, Shizu puppies may experience sore gums, increased biting behavior, and overall discomfort due to the changes they're undergoing. To help ease your pup's teething pains, provide them with chew toys and other stimulating activities that can help relieve some of the soreness associated with this transition. Don't forget to give your Shizu plenty of love and attention during this time, it will make a difference in helping them feel more comfortable. So don't worry, teething is nothing to be concerned about, make sure to give your pup the proper care and attention it needs. Nipping versus dot nipping nipping and biting are two common behaviors in dogs, and Shih Tzus are no exception. Understanding the difference between these behaviors is the first step to preventing them in this breed. Nipping is a behavior most often seen in puppies still learning about appropriate interactions with people and animals. It usually occurs when a pup tries to get attention or plays too roughly. Nipping is not intended to be aggressive, however, it can develop into more severe biting behavior if unchecked. On the other hand, biting is a deliberate act of aggression towards someone or something. It is essential to address this behavior as soon as possible to prevent it from escalating. How to train a Shizu puppy not to bite. Establishing clear rules and boundaries is essential when training a Shizu puppy not to bite. This should involve communicating your expectations in a firm, clear manner while keeping an eye on the pup's body language throughout the process. Positive reinforcement is also beneficial when teaching commands, reward the dog with treats or vocal praise whenever it listens. Providing chew toys for the pup can also be a great way to redirect its biting behavior toward an appropriate object that won't hurt anyone. Furthermore, it's essential to keep a close watch on interactions with other animals or children when introducing them to your Shizu as this can help prevent any potential biting incidents from arising in the first place. Regular training sessions should be conducted to ensure the pup learns and understands acceptable behavior. Punishment shouldn't play a role in this process. Instead, try redirecting attention away from objects or people it's trying to bite and focus on rewarding good behaviors whenever possible. How do you discipline a Shizu? Disciplining a Shizu is essential to training, as it helps ensure the pup knows what actions are acceptable and which are not. 
The best way to discipline a Shizu is by combining positive reinforcement and corrections. It's essential to remain patient when disciplining a Shizu. If you become too frustrated, the pup may become intimidated or confused, leading to further behavioral issues. Ensure plenty of exercise and mental stimulation throughout the day to prevent boredom related misbehaviors from occurring. With consistency and patience, you can successfully train your pup not to nip or bite. At the end training and disciplining a Shizu requires patience, consistency, and positive reinforcement. Establishing clear rules and boundaries is essential for preventing nipping or biting behavior while providing chew toys can help redirect the pup's attention toward an appropriate object. Regular training sessions should be conducted to ensure the puppy understands acceptable behaviors, with punishment never playing a role in this process. With enough time and effort invested into your dog's upbringing, you can successfully train it not to nip or bite, making sure that you and your furry friend live happily ever after.